Hey guys, it's Bella from Bella's Toy Chest. So since I'm home, I decided to do one, redo one of my toy rooms. So um, there's a lot of stuff in there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned at the end for my pick of the day. Um, come follow me inside and see what's inside my toy room. All right, so we are entering one of my toy rooms. Bella's toy layer. So let's check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the window because my toy Yorkie Beans loves to look outside when she's in this room. It's beautiful out, actually it's been raining. So let's go see what's inside my toy room. There's beans. No beans, don't jump. <laughs> so as soon as you walk in, as you can see what's on my bed, I got this cool alien and then this teddy bear that's really weird. And then I got these Ghostbusters figures because I love the Ghostbusters. I did a little bit of the um, cobwebs. It's pretty cool. And then that's my custom Harley Quinn I got from somebody. She's gorgeous. And then right over here, start up here, there's my Baby Yoda I got from a fan. And then there's my Burger King display watch for the Rugrats. And then there's Patrick and Tommy, Reptar, Chucky. This is my Nickelodeon uh, top shelf. Love Ren and Stimpy. There's all my Nick boxes I collect. Then right down here is Tommy and Chucky. I got some slime. It's not original, it's just newer. Rugrats movie, The Watch. So it's pretty much themed like Tommy and Chucky. And then over here is Reptar, huge Reptar fan. Reptar bar. That's uh, pens, Reptar and ice. And then down here is Cat Dog. Love Cat Dog. Angelica. Again, huge Rugrats fan. There's a plate back there. And then I made this cute Funko lettering. I just colored it. And then over here is uh, themed. It's Ren and Stimpy. I don't have a lot of Ren and Stimpy stuff. I really wish I did. More Funko signs. Then down here is just like a hodgepodge of stuff. These are from my mystery boxes that I get. Here's a Nick box. Uh, that was something I got in the mail. Look at Stewie. The Mad Magazine guy. Double Dare. And then down here on the same shelf my mystery boxes that I got. These are really cool. I don't know if anybody's ever seen these. These are sealed in the box propagandas. Uh, I got the whole set um, one year for Christmas. And then I like, uh, there's McDonald's with a fork. And then of course, Bob's Burgers is one of my all time favorites. So that's just on this one shelf. And then we go over to, those my air fresheners. I'm supposed to melt those, but uh, I never get around to it. And then something you guys probably don't know about me, but I love Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope. That's signed by her. She's one of my all-time favorites. Love her. So if anybody finds any Wreck-It Ralph stuff, send it my way. It's also signed by her. Then I got more Wreck-It Ralph stuff. Vanellope. Look how freaking cute she is. Love her. And then this is Boo from Monsters, Inc. She is absolutely adorable. And it's also, I have the same Funko Pop. One signed, one not signed. Love it. 
And then I think she talks. Let me see. One of these talk. Oh, it's her. Hold on. Look how cute she is. She talks. I don't know if she talks. Okay, probably not. So that's down there on that other shelf. And then one of my favorite uh, Machino bears. I got the Sephora collection. It's sealed. It's not toy related, but I still love it. And then down here, I love Maleficent. She's so beautiful. Angelina Jolie. Then I got that. And then again, I got a signed Funko Pop and not a sign. And there's a roar. So that was on those two shelves in my room. Up there, I got a glow worm. I love glow worms. And then up here, uh, I'm a Christmas fan. Definitely have Christmas Funko Pops everywhere. All right. And then to the other, well, to the same side, Ghostbusters. Definitely have Ghostbusters. I got a whole tube of these. Um, I think a Halloween store was going out of business or closing up, and I ended up getting those. Then there's my Slimer bank and who you gonna call. More. It's funny to put those there. That's my transformer I transformed. Then I got that. Pretty cool stuff. And then I got the Ghostbusters. Then down here, I got more Ghostbusters stuff. That is really cool. It's sealed in the box. Then I got that. I got a lot of Ghostbusters stuff. This is just some of it in my toy room. And then over here, Scooby-Doo, the mystery machine. I know you guys saw that video on YouTube. And then the Funko Pops. And I got the little characters right here. And Willy Wonka, I love. And these are actually signed by every one of the characters. And then here's the golden ticket. And it comes with a certificate of authenticity. And this was actually from Mike TV. Um, I got this set in the mail. It was a gift from Mike. Um, really amazing. Pretty cool to have those. I don't know anybody that has those. Again, if you could see, they're all signed. And then that's my Freddy Funko. And then right directly down below that, I have Jaws stuff, because who doesn't love Jaws? I got every single one of those. It's pretty awesome. And then right here, my Boogalins. And then I got my germs. So here are my, oh, he's falling. Let's pick him. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to stay. But then there's my Boogalins. This is on one side of the room. So I'm going to take you to the other side of the room. Alright, so this is the back of the door. Hanging back here is an original Batman costume from 1966. I believe... No, that one's from 72. The one from 66 is on my mannequin. So that's pretty cool. All right, on this side of the room, my Living Dead dolls. These are custom made dolls I got at a convention. There's Avatar, she's gorgeous. These are just some Living Dead dolls and those dolls are really creepy. But one of my favorite shelves is right here. Happens to be my Gremlin stuff. I got a lot more Gremlin stuff. <laughs> I just got to find somewhere to put it. So that's graded in Mex. It's made from Mexico, graded at a 70. And the one back there is definitely uh, graded as well. 
I got those. Never seen those before. One of my favorite shelves. And then I said I was a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. So down the wall, down the wall, there is my Alice in Wonderland. I'm gonna step back. Pretty amazing. I have the Chase Funko. And then I got Mad Hatter's Freddy Funko. And then this Funko, I found at the store, he has no hand, but I still bought him. Look at the life like in those. And there's the queen. I mean, look how gorgeous she is. Love it. Beans wants to get off the bed. <laughs> so that was the Alice stuff and then move up more to the horror stuff, Living Dead. Then there's my Eval or Elvira shelf, sorry. Watch in beans, making sure she doesn't jump. And then this is Maury Elvira. And I got this from an auction online. It just looked like her. And then this was custom made by this company. And then I don't know if you guys ever saw evil cat dolls, but they're Kit Kats that are evil. Pretty cool. And then there's more. I made that horror. This I found in that storage unit and I just decided to keep it. But there's Elvira, she signed that. All the ones up here, these two are signed by her, which is pretty cool. And then down here, I just, there's Rat Fink, Rat Fink Funko. And then there's Candyman and Mummy. And then, I never showed you guys, but down here, there's beans. It is more Alice in Wonderland stuff. And then, up here, is my Adams Family. And my Ooze It. This is boxed. And then, those are sealed black and white ones, so we'll never know what's in there. Those were from San Diego Comic-Con. And then right here is my American Horror Story Funkos, which I'm missing Mr. March for American Horror Story Hotel. Then there's the other ones that's signed by Sharon Needles. That's signed by Pepper. My little troll fell over. And then these are the boxed ones that you guys all see right here. This one's, of course, that one's kind of creepy. I don't know if you guys ever saw that show, but it was weird. And then right here, I Smell Children. It was signed. These are my Hocus Pocus. And then down here... If you guys can see, these are pregnant Barbies that are actually pregnant. And you take the baby out of the belly and that's what you get. It's kind of weird. They're discontinued. They're really old. So again, there's my Hocus Pocus stuff. American Horror Story. And then up over here is a whole wall of horror stuff signed Chucky the shining twins and then one of my all-time favorites Sam but there's a glare in the window so I'm gonna try to close it so there's Sam I got two of those one was from my brother Jody one was from a friend, Sam Trick or Treat. Again, I got another custom doll made from the same company. 
And then there's another Sam. Lots of Sams. And then up here, this is pretty cool. Then I got Creature of the Black Lagoon. And then there's Pennywise. More Sam stuff. I know you guys saw that in another video, but as I said, I got more stuff. And then there's that Sam. So there's Pennywise. And then down here, it's Friday the 13th stuff. Edward Scissorhand, Leatherface. Now, I redid this room. The before and afters were crazy. Um, took me almost a week. I know that seems like a lot, but this room was filled with He-Man and Godzilla and Ultraman, which is a different room that I'm trying to redo right now. I just want to show you guys been asking for a toy room tour. Here's just one of my five bedrooms. And then there's some alien stuff. And then my Tobin Bell sign doll. And then my huge Chucky. I bought that at Spencer's for Christmas. Sign Tobin Bell. And then this is really cool. Well, there's beans, beans. Look at my beauty. And then this right here, I know people say, how can you sleep in this room? I don't. Uh, Grandma does sometimes. Um, she doesn't know that's in here yet. But then there's this awesome slot machine that I got from a friend. I actually just turn it on and play with it sometimes when uh, I'm in this room. And then there's my Casper stuff. And then again, this bed for, you know, a guest or somebody who wants to sleep in here but anybody who sees that is pretty terrified uh to sleep in here so again uh this is a full um bedroom tour of there's stuff up there but i didn't have you know i didn't really move it so this is what it looks like in here when you walk in this room so if you are afraid of twisty the clown from american horror story so that's twisty and then this is what twisty looks like the this is the clown i love right well i hate clowns but twisty was pretty cool i have a life-size sam trick-or-treat at my front door too bad i couldn't put him in there instead but I decided I was going to go ahead and show you guys a little room tour of all the stuff that I got. Um, I've been collecting so long. Just random stuff like this Pez. I don't even know where that came from. But the, this stuff like this. Like you guys see I have triples. But they're all this. They're all different. Like his eyes are up there. His eyes are down there. His eyes are straight ahead. All, all of these are different. So... I know it seems weird that I have three, but when you find them, and I mean, they're probably made like that and they are all the same, but I still love them. But again, I figured I would go ahead. Beans wants to say hi. I figured I'd go ahead and do a toy room for you guys. Uh, toy room tour, I should say. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will have more toy room tours just this is my first one of one full room that you guys can see um let me know what you guys think um and if you guys have any of this stuff she talks i didn't want her in here um if you guys have anything that you'd like to share or tell me about your toy room uh, i would love to hear about it again i'm bella don't forget to like comment and subscribe you never know what you'll find on this channel. Maybe more toy room tours. Thanks for watching. Bye.